Okay, so here we are. We are back to our blog that we created, or I am, and um, I want to actually make this look a little bit better. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing I'm going to do in this video is we're just going to change the theme, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add my logo to it. And then from there, I'll get rid of this post, and I'll just do a test post just so you can kind of see how to do your first post. And then we'll go over all of this stuff at a later date. Uh, as far as your widgets and all that stuff. I'll touch on them briefly, but I'll show you what they are. But anyway, um, what you want to do, number one, if you're not already in here um, to into your admin panel, because see right here how I've got all these options? If you're not logged in, which I am logged in right now, but if you're not, you won't have these options. So what you want to do is you want to get logged into your admin area. Actually, I'll show you. Let me log out. And that's logged out. Let's just go back to as if I was just coming in fresh. All right, so there we go. So see, you don't see anything. I can't, I can't actually edit this page. Okay, so what I want to do is get into the admin. So I just go backslash wp hyphen admin enter, and then from there it's going to bring up this, and then from there I'm already saved my settings and everything. So then just uh, go ahead and hit log in, and you're going to be into your admin panel. All right. So what I want to do now is go into themes. So to do that, just go into Appearance, hover over that, and you'll see Themes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Themes. And then here, you're going to see they already have a couple that are already kind of installed uh, or that I have options too. Now, you can go right here to Install Themes, and you can go and search for free themes in here. You know, uh, you can choose what how many columns you want. You can, all of that stuff. You can even do features that are into it, uh, you know. I mean, if you just wanted to just go ahead and upload a free one and, and find something, like I, let me just, for example, two columns, and let me just see what that brings back if I hit search. See, so this is what came up. So if I wanted to check out one of these, let me go to this one here. See, and if I wanted to install it, I just click install. And then from there I can do a live preview or I can activate it. I'm going to activate it. And then now I'm going to visit the site and see what it looks like with the new theme. And there you go. Okay, I got a brand new theme now. Okay, that's not what I want, but I just wanted to show you that's how you do it. That's how simple it is. So let me just go back to dashboard. And then in here, appearance, themes. And I just downloaded one from Woo Themes, which is called Headlines. And actually with Woo Themes is uh, once you, at least they are right now, uh, when you purchase the one license, they'll give you three themes, basically. Um, so I chose the one. So let's just go ahead and install that. I'm going to show you how easy it is. So go to install themes and then you want to go to upload. Okay, I already downloaded the zip file on my desktop. Then once this box pulls up, just go to browse. Go to your uh, desktop, wherever you have it or wherever you have it. Just And then click open and then click install. This basically right now is loading all of the uh, files and everything in your uh, hosting package right now. So it says right now unpacking and then it says installing and then it says theme installed successfully. So I can do a live preview again or I can activate it. I'm going to activate it. And now because I'm in Woo Themes, they give you a lot of different options, okay? And that's why it's a custom theme or it's more of a detailed professional theme. I mean, they have a lot of different things. They always are updating the framework. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to it. And most of my paid stuff that I use out there, as far as like, you know, when I'm charging money for things, I use a paid theme because there's a lot more features. Plus, it's better in Google. Google likes it better. Um, it has different options as far as sending out signals, pinging and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that you might not understand right now. And right down here, you can see all of these things that I have to play with, that I, I have options to. Now, don't get overwhelmed by all this because we're not going to have to even touch a lot of this right now. Uh, what I want to do, though, first, and I can get rid of all these things if I want. I can just click off of these right now. All these are is just telling me more features that are available if I, if I want to use them. And they're just kind of in my way right now. So I'm just going to get rid of them so I have a cleaner workspace. And then what I'm going to do, though, is the first thing I want to do is, is upload my custom logo. Now, if I don't, watch what happens. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to visit the site. And then this is what my site looks like right now. Okay? And, and this is what I wanted. I wanted something to look really, really simple and easy uh, to navigate 
and that's what this will do for me. So that's what I'm going to go with right now, and this may change over time, but this is what it's going to be like. All right, so let me go back, and I'm going to change this where it says headlines, and I'm going to change that to my logo. And you, you see here, though, real quick, if I, if, if I did a logo that was on white, you would see like a white square. But be, because I did it as a PNG file, now if you haven't watched that video, I just shot a video in Photoshop. You can do it in Photoshop Elements or whatever. Um, or if you have one done on Fiverr, but it has to be in a PNG file, and that'll give you transparency. All right, so let's just go back to Themes. And then from here, what I can do, I can either go here to Customize, which is a little shortcut. And then from here, I can go into certain things that'll let me customize and see on the fly, title and tagline, front page and stuff. But I don't like to go through uh, that option right here. I customize, I like going here to where I have all the options here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on theme options. And then here it gives me a real simple navigation, right? So I'm gonna leave that at default. Now if I didn't want to, I can go here and it gives me all different colors, okay? So maybe I wanna play around with different colors and see which one I want. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with, uh, I think it was the default one that I liked, or maybe, mm, let's see here, the gray is nice too, I know. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the default for right now. And then let's up, upload our uh, graphic. So go to Custom Logo, and then select, and I'm going to go get it. Now that's the test one. I'm not going to use the test one. I'm going to go and go into my folder here that I created. And I'm going to go to logo, and then I'm going to go to, uh, let's see which one was it. It was, I believe, logo one copy maybe. Let me see here. Let me go in this view, and um, it was this one right here because I had the red underline. Hit open, and then it's going to upload it. Now I can either leave it. I'm going to go ahead and title this because it's always good to title your images because it helps you if you ever want to get searched for something. So I'm just going to title that online income blogger. And that may help down the line. Someone might be searching something, uh, you know, relative to that, and I might pop up my image might and it might lead them back to my blog. Um, and then this here, I will definitely uh, disable the actual link to the picture, but I'm going to leave just the link to the site. And then I'm going to, uh, I can either do a medium, uh, or I can do the full size. I'm going to just do the medium for Nate right now and see what that looks like. So use this image, and that looks pretty good. And then let's just go ahead and hit save. And then from here, let's just see what it looks like. Well, it looks a little too small. All right, so I'm going to go back and make that bigger. All right, so let's uh, go back again to our themes. And we're going to go to headlines, theme options. And then right here, I can go ahead now and minus this out right here if I want to. Because I don't believe that I can, at least I don't know myself on how to do that, um, to make that bigger. Uh, so let me just go ahead and do it again, and it might say that I'm uploading it again, and it might override it, and that'll be fine. Uh, I might have made a copy of it. No, I guess it just went over top of it. All right, so anyway, so online income blogger, do the same thing, go over here, get rid of this stuff at the end, and I want to make it large full size, use this image. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and hit save all changes. And then I'm going to test it by going here to visit my site. And yeah, that's better. Now, in the future, I might want to make that a little bit smaller. That looks a little bit kind of obnoxious. Um, and I probably will make that smaller. Um, but uh, right now, I'm going to, just going to leave it for the sake. But again, if I want to change the color of this theme, you know, this black up here, I can easily do that in here in themes. And then just go to. Uh, theme options and then from here I can go into the default and I can go into silver if I want to let's do silver and see what that looks like and visit site yeah that looks pretty good too so let's just leave it like that for right now I am definitely gonna make that smaller I only want that to probably go to about here uh, make it smaller I might even have a picture of myself up here because I think a lot of times it's good to see the picture of whoever is creating the blog um, but you'll see I'll probably change that. But anyway, you see how to get it there. That's the main thing here. Um, now, this other stuff we're going to have to play around with. We're going to have to, obviously, this is a sample page. It's uncategorized. Uh, you know, we're going to be able to create custom menus, um, recent posts, all that stuff. So I will definitely be updating uh, 
everyone on that stuff as I progress. But I just wanted to show you how to do that, this simple customization, getting a custom uh, blog up and running. Now, while we're here, though, let me just go ahead and delete this post, and I'll, I'll make a new post. That's actually, uh, I believe, a page. I don't know if that's even a post. So let's just go to themes, and then let's go here to pages, and let's just check out the pages. Um, this is a sample page, okay? So if I want to delete that, let me just delete that altogether. And just hit trash. I could have just hit trash. And then that's gone. And then let me go to posts here, all posts. And yeah, see, that was the one that said hello world. So let's just go ahead and trash that one too. It was just kind of giving you an idea. But I will be creating a new post, actually, um, probably posting the first video that I did on here. That'll be my first one. But for right now, just to show you, you would just go to Add New Post right here. And then from there, we're going to just title it. And I'm going to say, uh, this is my, well, let's capital. I always like, cap is my first post. And then just here, I'll just say, uh, this is what my first post post looks like and I'll just say this is really easy smiley face all right now it's uncategorized so I'm going to categorize this adding categories helps you navigate the site but it also helps you uh, be able to navigate it through uh, you know people can find you easier or it'll also give links to certain categories so I'm just going to go and hit add new category and I'm going to just going to title this um, how about creating blog case study and then just hit add new and then I can tag it where it says online income maybe that'll be a tag then I can do another one maybe uh, make money online make sure it's spelled right and you get the idea okay and there's other things that we're gonna be doing like here's a custom thumbnail image that'll go on the that the, the front page which will do that I can put an embed code if I wanted video um, image alignment I can do all that so there's a bunch of stuff you can do within this and I'm not gonna go through every little detail now you kinda gotta wiggle your way through because I mean even like this here is I'm I've never done this if you wanted to add a picture though let's add the logo back in here and we'll see what that looks like add media and now I can go to my media library because everything that's loaded is uploaded into a folder so I can go right to that now and see it's going to show me what I've already uploaded. So I can go ahead and click on that one and then I can hit insert into post and I can also give it some parameters. I can put a caption, I can do a description, um, I can do display settings alignment. So if I want it to be aligned left, center, right, none, uh, I'll do center. Uh, it's a media file, custom URL. There's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, I can do a different size. If I don't want it to be a full, I can do a thumbnail or a medium. I'm going to do full and then just insert into post. Hit publish. And let's see here. Go back. We're going to view the post, see what it looks like. And there we go. Now, see, the image was too big. See, I would never really put an image that's 700 pixels wide. I would stick to 600. That's kind of like a rule of thumb of mine. Uh, but you can kind of get the idea. Uh, so I would want to make that smaller. Um, I'm going to delete this anyway. Uh, but yeah, and that's how you do that. Now all these things down here, your share buttons, they're all going to be linked behind the scenes, which I'll probably do another lesson on that. There's a lot to do, like here creating a blog case study, that's the one that's automatically defaulting there, but I'm going to change that and make my own custom menus, which I'll do a whole other video on that. But anyway, all right, that's pretty much how you create uh, a post. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so let me just go back to the dashboard and... Uh, let me just go back into my posts and let's see all posts and then you can see here now I can edit that if I want to which I will let me edit that let me go into the picture now if I click on the picture now I can go here click on that and then I can edit that picture and uh, same thing if I wanted to make it smaller let's make it 70% uh, of what I made it we're gonna update that we're gonna actually you know what let me align it left too let's align it to the left right there and that's left to the text. Let's just do none and then hit update. And update here. And we'll do another view of it and see what it looks like. And this is the home page. This is my first post. And I see there's no thumbnail. I haven't created one yet. But if I want to read more, I go here and then boom, there it is. Okay, so it fits better now. 
And that's pretty much it. These widgets, we'll go over that in another lesson, but that is pretty much all there is to it. So that's going to end it for this video. In the next video, I'll go ahead and go into more detail as far as customizing and all that stuff. And when I do certain things, I'll describe what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Probably work on the menu next, actually, in adding a, a post or two. All right, so that's it. I'll see you in the next lesson.